nieces and nephews. Thank you for joining me on another Media Maven Monday where I like to talk about social media and anything that can help you digitally monetize some goodies on Monday. Today I want to talk to specifically my YouTubers trying to monetize or they already have monetized and they want to figure out how to make more money or make some more sense of how you make more money. We're going to talk specifically about advertising. After monetizing your YouTube channel, you can get ads, which happens to be like the first main source of how YouTubers make their money. So basically Google AdSense, because Google owns YouTube, allows Allows you to make ads on your YouTube video. So you will gradually, as you produce more videos, accumulate ad revenue and once you get to a certain threshold, you'll be distributed a dividend of that money on a monthly basis. What they use to calculate that first and foremost is this thing called CPM. CPM means cost per mill, mill Latin term for thousand. So this translates to the cost per a thousand views. Each video has an individually set cost per mil. Google somehow with their algorithm will determine how many views you're getting on that and with the type of content and the things you're putting on it how much it is worth to advertisers and that price will be what the advertisers will pay to display their ads on your video. You can go to your dashboard and it'll show up right at the top. It'll be your CPM and it'll be whatever amount of dollars. Of course it is against YouTube guidelines if you want to make a YouTube video like I'm doing right now and you want to talk about CPM. You cannot post your CPM. It's against YouTube guidelines and you know YouTube does not care about snatching nobody's money honey so don't do it don't even do it <laughs> i'm not showing my cpm or telling my cpm i just know that when you go to the dashboard you can clearly see where your cpm is at the top right hand side and you can further research that by experimenting and scrolling to the bottom and seeing where all of your money and your revenue is coming from from your various videos and so after they determine the cpm google gets their cut a big chunk a big old chunk, my chunk. Just telling you, you get you get pennies on the dollar. YouTubers, we we ain't, we ain't balling. I ain't balling yet. It's too small. Google gets their cut. Whatever else you do might get a cut, and then your cut goes right into the Google AdSense, and that's how you'll get your money. But you want to know how to get more money, or how to extend your cost per meal, or how they determine your cost per meal, and these are some key factors. So if you want to increase your ad revenue, first thing is you want to be something that people can advertise off of. Certain channels, certain things that are a little bit more explicit, a little graphic, maybe a little bit too sexual. And those types of YouTubers are going to have lower cost per meal because advertisers won't expect those to be profitable videos. So if you want to increase ad revenue and raise your cost per meal, be more family friendly, do a little less cursing, a little bit less twerking, whatever it is that you're doing that could be considered explicit. I will leave the YouTube guidelines in the description box below for you because they're gonna go into more detail on that than your girl auntie can. But auntie is still gonna tell you what your mama didn't tell you and that's why I'm here right now. Second thing, if you want to make more money on YouTube using your advertisements, you actually have to use them. Some of y'all don't even know how to use them. You have to go into your dashboard, click on monetization when you upload your videos and then you have to click, click, click click on the advertisements. Now, you will also be able to see in the YouTube dashboard what advertisements make you the most money. So you wanna have those ads in. Another thing to be mindful of when you're making your videos is the length. I usually find it annoying to myself as a YouTube watcher and as a creator to have a bunch of click, 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 those little ads in the middle of the story videos for the longer scene videos. That's so like 90s TV and nobody's even doing cable no more. Why we got so many ads? Nevertheless, YouTube creators gotta get their cut too and I understand it. And also when you add more of those during the video advertisements, those videos get pushed in YouTube more via their algorithm. So by adding more 
during the video advertisements within your video, YouTube is more inclined to push you into queue to the masses so your video can be possibly trending and blow up, who knows? That's up to you. Like at the end of the day, that is up to you. And that is your choice as a creator. You don't have to make the money off the advertisements, but keep in mind this video is how to increase the money you make off of your YouTube advertising. The video where I talked about my favorite income source, that video, I didn't put any advertisements in it because I did not want my viewers to be distracted with advertisements. That's just something to keep in mind. It depends on the context of your video. If your video is you dropping knowledge and information on something that makes you more money, I would suggest keeping the advertisements off. That way it's just not a distraction, especially if it's something that makes you more money than YouTube. Also keep in mind, if you wanna add multiple advertisements during your video, in the middle of the video, you're gonna have to have your video more than 10 minutes. So I don't know if this video is gonna be more than 10 minutes or not. I mean, it depends on if I feel like talking. And you guys know, I sometimes I talk too much, you guys. If the video is over 10 minutes, you can apply more than two advertisements in the video. So like in my last video where I did the story time and it was a long drawn out video where I was ranting my heart about, about my health update and all of that i added multiple advertisements in that video but that video was about 20 minutes long so if it's a shorter video you can't do that as much and that's something to keep in mind just the same way you can add cards into your video you can add your advertisements you can hand cherry pick where you want the advertisements to be placed in your video which can also work really well because it kind of gives you the tv feel and you can add a little suspense it can be like a transition to the next point of your topic just the same way as we watch tv back in the olden days like the 90s in addition to posting longer you can post more frequently yes the more you post, the more your video gets pushed out into YouTube's algorithm, which gives your video a better chance of being seen by people. And when you have a better chance of being seen by people, you have a better chance of advertisers wanting to pay for them to be seen in your videos. You get it? Good. So, to sum it up, we've talked about the CPM and defined that, which is how they calculate what your video is worth to advertisers and thus how much you get paid. We've talked about the things that can help make you more appealing to advertisers like the content of your video and how long the video is and how many advertisements you choose to place in your videos. But I think if you're trying to make YouTube your sole source of income, don't. And unless you're like one of those YouTube plants like that, um, like that snake in a snake in a bus girl. That was some shady stuff, YouTube. Y'all know I've been waiting to be an industry plant. I'm trying to get a million followers in two videos too. I don't know why I missed my beat, but whatever, you know, cause I'm living in my little apartment and I ain't got no yellow snakes. That was really foul. I, I peeped that, I peeped that. To do YouTube is something that you really have to love to do before you see some money. People who are watching these videos that are very new or just starting to monetize, just be patient with it, take some practice with it, but take Auntie's advice, okay? If you are looking for alternate sources of income though, YouTube best not be just it. That's all I got to say. Again, I will leave the link to my favorite source of income below. Explore that with your girl and leave any questions below. I'm gonna close this video out and thank you guys for joining me on Media Maven Monday. You know Auntie loves you. You know there's no community without the you and the I. So make sure that you comment below and you can check me out on social media if you wanna ask me a question that you don't want posted below. As always, show yourself. As always, it's your girl Bad on BB. Over now.